Hey, what's up, everyone? How are you? Yes, I am back with another edition of Bot Box Impressions. Uh, yeah, we'll start with some fights, a couple of fights. Uh, well, sorry, first one, and we on Tuesday. And uh, it's Jamel Herring versus Jonathan Oquendo. It's a very good fight. The first, uh, I guess, a really good one, uh, since, you know, since this started again. Um, so Jamel Herring is defending his WBO Super Fairway title, his second defense. And uh, Jonathan Oquendo, you know, or Oquendo, uh, He's, uh, yeah, <laughs> he has before uh, challenged once for uh, WBA federal title anyway, but he lost to Jesus Suelar. And before that he was stopped by Alfredo Vasquez and, uh, up, and he lost to Abner Mares also. So he's got six losses, 31 victories. With 19 KOs and Jamel Herring, he's uh, he's got two losses only. <clears throat> and uh, first to Dennis Shafiko uh, in 2016, which was by a TKO in the 10th round, and uh, second to Ladarius Miller, which was kind of an upset on, on points. Yeah, since then uh, he has captured the WBO title. Yeah, he's beaten Masayuki Ito and Lamont Roach in those first two world title fights. So Jamel Herring, he is uh, really not a puncher. He's only got ten knockouts of twenty-one, but uh, he's a very tough guy and. Uh, I hear he was a, he's a former marine, so his nickname is Semper Fi. Fi. But at 34, I don't know how much left, how much, uh, yeah, he's got left. He's only a tall super favorite, 5 foot 10, 70 inch reach also, while Oquendo is much smaller. He's a former featherweight, five foot four, says sixty-seven inch reach. So yeah, and Oakland Okendo is actually thirty-six, so he's two years older. So you know, I I kind of think Jamel Herring is a big favorite, rather big favorite to win here. But you know, as we have seen lately, anything that anything can happen. There have been a lot of quite a lot of upsets in the past few years and uh, I still think it will be difficult for Okendo to win this fight uh, especially now you know that at this age and all that uh, he's never really uh, he's never really he, he I remember he was quite you know uh, tout as promising fighter at first, but he was stopped by Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. and then that kind of stopped, so, you know, he simply has proven that he can't, can't uh, tangle with the best, so, yeah, he's kind of a fringe contender, you know, yeah, de definitely, while Herring is more like a a contender <laughs> and a champion also so uh yeah i think herring most likely wins on points because uh, he hasn't really stopped anyone uh any world class fire yet so uh yeah he definitely i think wins on points yeah uh that was that fight 
Jamal Harry to win on points versus Jonathan Okendo. <laughs> then on Saturday, um, there's a quite interesting heavyweight fight in Germany. It's Agit Kabayel versus uh, Evgenius Lazaridis. Yeah, and Kabayel is one of the, you know, or considered consider one of the most pro promising uh, younger heavyweights from Europe anyway he's 27 he's not too young but anyway <laughs> and <clears throat> he has actually beaten Derek Chisora and uh, that was his best victory uh, <laughs> in 2017 but it was a close fight a majority decision so he's also beaten Andrei Rudenko who was kind of solid, you know, anyway, for a while. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. He he can't punch, but he doesn't usually win by a knockout in, in important fights, really. Cavell is 19 and all with 13 KOs. Stands at six foot three. While Lazarid is the, the the big underdog and uh He's uh, he's older, five years older, but he's got a three-inch height advantage anyway, six foot six. Yes, yeah, so this guy he lost to Erkan Tepper once and uh, was knocked out by someone called Samuel Kadje. Kadje. Yeah. So I guess uh, yeah. Cavell is of course the major favorite here. He may even win by a knockout. Maybe he may, but the pride is at stake here because of course obviously uh Cavell <coughs> he is of Turkish descent while this guy Lazaridis well yeah he's Greek so you know what I'm talking about. It will be a, a good scrap I, I expect anyway. So I think Cavallo wins uh, maybe by a stoppage, but I'm not sure, maybe. Yeah, all right. And then uh, <coughs> Oscar Valdez, it's, this is on actually the Tuesday in a, in a week, uh, or the, yeah. <laughs> Tuesday the week after it's Oscar Valdez versus Jason Velez. I'm including that that too because there isn't any other there aren't any other exciting fights that week really. So this one is really really good one. Oscar Valdez and Jason Velez. A Mexican versus a Puerto Rican course Valdez is undefeated he is one of the best uh, now he was of course the featherweight world champion now he's a super featherweight so yeah it will be interesting to see how he does uh, Jason Valdez he also used to be a, a featherweight but he is a rather tall tall featherweight 5'8 but uh, he, uh, yeah, <laughs> he he did quite well, you know, early on in his career. But since then, he has lost, you know, several times. He's got six losses, but he hasn't been stopped yet, you know. So and some of those were really close, you know, losses by split decision. I see two, two of them. And, one by majority so uh <clears throat> of course valdez he is the big favorite here uh, but he is the smaller guy definitely five five and a half so uh, that means he will have to you know kind of maybe play it a little safe you know perhaps and uh, just concentrate on boxing instead of punching you know, so I guess he's got the speed advantage and all that. 
but uh, yeah this one is very likely to go the distance as well because as I said Velez has never been stopped before and Valdez is fighting this is his, I think maybe the first fight at or the second one maybe at 130 let's see yeah well it's almost the first one really because the, the last one was he was uh, fighting he was at, uh, above 126 but his opponent was on so this is actually his first legit super favorite fight so i believe uh, it will be a good good challenge i mean Valles should provide a good challenge for Valdez, but i believe Valdez should win because he is the better fighter definitely so yeah yeah i'm kind of looking forward forward to this um yeah so there isn't that much more there is also joe joyce fighting michael walsh or mikhail walsh yeah joe joyce <laughs> the juggernaut yeah he hasn't had a fight for a year now and uh walsh is a good uh a good safe opponent you know for him now because he needs one after not fighting for so long and yeah I, I trust Joyce will stop Walsh rather quickly within five rounds I think yeah all right so that was that was it for this time um, uh, next time there will be yeah some really good fights uh, i think to talk about we got Visak Silvangic versus Amnat to her own yeah and a few others so until the next time see you bye bye